science cafe this is the lecture number 2 here we will be discussing about the types of hybridization number 1 is sp3 hybridization what is sp3 hybridization in sp3 hybridization as the name suggests one s and three p orbitals combine to form a sp3 hybrid orbital as you all know that p orbitals divide into px py and pz and s orbital is always a spherical one p orbital is a dimmer shape px is in the uh, horizontal x axis and py is in the vertical y axis and z axis is out of the board that is in the 3d which i can not definitely show you in the board but you can think of this number as it is coming out of the wide board now what is the shape of the sp3 hybridization and is don't forget to copy all the things by pausing the video so that you don't miss any point and now let's consider about the shapes and the bond angles between the hybrid orbitals the shape of sp3 hybridization is tetrahedral and the bond angle between the tetrahedral shape is 109.5 degrees as you can see i have draw due two diagrams one is of the covalent bonding that is easier to understand and the other one is of hybrid orbital theory as you can see a suggests the central atom what is central atom it will be discussed in the later lecture in which we will be discussing how to identify which compound undergo what type of hybridization in that time we will be understanding what is central atom how to identify the central atom for the time being let's consider a is a central atom and all the b's are different atoms that are being attached by sp3 hybridization so you can form this tetrahedral structure in co covalent bond then you can trace it out to make the hybrid orbital theory okay, yes i was saying that you can now trace it to the hybrid orbital theory that will be easier for you to make and draw the hybrid orbital theory this is the first jumble this is the second one the bond angle between these two numbers must be the same yes and this one is the orbital that is coming out of the bond that is in the z axis so by tracing the covalent bonding you can make easily the hybrid orbital shape that will be easier for you now let us continue to the different further types of hybridization second type is sp2 hybridization in sp2 hybridization one s orbital and two p orbitals combine to form three sp2 hybrid orbitals 1s and 2p that is px and py combine to form 3 1 2 3 3 sp2 hybrid orbitals now the shape the shape of the 3 sp3 hybridization is trigonal and the bond angle between the hybrid orbital is 120 degree from the exam point of view you have to learn the shapes and the angle and this will further help us in identifying the compounds which are having different types of hybridization and we have to draw those structures and write about them so for example to so do learn these shapes and the bond angle now moving towards the sp hybridization in sp hybridization as the name suggests one s and one p combine to form one s and one p combine to form two sp hybrid orbitals two sp hybrid orbitals and you can see there are two hybrid orbitals and what is one s n one p x not p y not p z so the shape as you can see is linear structure and the linear structure has an always has an angle of 180 degree that concludes our lecture number 2 that is types of hybridization see you next time in the very next lecture in which we will be drawing the compounds with different hybridization and identifying those compounds on the basis of hybrid orbital theory thank you so much for it and share the word so that maximum number of people can be benefited